tillage did not go yesterday, but we've got a couple warmer days ahead of us, so we're hoping to get the 9560 and the Ripper running once we finish up this field. <laughs> I'm bringing this yellow machine back to the yard right now so that they can load it on a truck and get it out of here. Uh, we had our last day in it yesterday. You will get to see my final thoughts on it, but that video is going to be a few days delayed. So believe me, it's coming. A sincere thank you to Ziegler and Kloss for giving us the opportunity to run this thing. You know, that's, uh, that's not something everybody gets to do, so I hope that a lot of you guys really enjoyed it, got to learn a little bit more about the machine. Right now we're transferring corn out of the new bigger wet bin while drying so that we can make enough room to get enough dry corn into the big bins. It's a whole transfer process that we're down to right now as we reach our final acres here and we got to make enough room in the grain bins. So right now we're trying to empty this bin. This is all high moisture corn on the bottom. We're going to get it empty so we can put dry corn in here to make enough room so the rest of our crop we're gonna be using that bin, but that's almost full of wet corn now. It's a whole deal. Getting right up there. It definitely didn't move. You wanna move it once more? Now watch it. I'll be dang. That one is tied on with the center. When you open the center, that one opens. Really? Yeah, so there's two sums. Fixed itself, I guess. Well, once again, this super simple flipper valve thing, thing that should go easily from the ground is not working because the cables haven't been run correctly, so here I am. It should be all good. It's breezy up here, and the air is moist. Since I'm up here, I may as well climb the additional eight feet and grease this thing. We keep a grease gun up here, along with a couple wrenches and a baseball. Decent view. I can see all the geese sitting on the lake over there. They look delicious. That's enough climbing for the day. We are transferring. Somebody needs to do something about this pile of chaff under the dryer. She's a beautiful machine. I just don't think it's the right thing for our operation at this time. didn't go as far as I was hoping it would. It's getting there. Boo. Did you have fun at preschool? Did you bring me a cheeseburger? Oh, you're playing shy now. Man, do I love a good cheeseburger. Shoveling. I'd say that's getting full. For some reason I can hear it over here as well. This bin is full. Now we've switched it over to run over the top cross auger to fill that end bin. It's all a game of Tetris at this point. I think I can hear it. It's, it's, it's uh, tricky. It's tricky when you can't see anything and you gotta listen and hope that you're not dumping corn on top of beans or anything terrible like that. We got six bucket loads out so far. We're gonna take at least another one or two out of here. Try and get as much out of here as we can before it rains because it does look like rain is coming now. So if we don't get to combining today, we have enough wet grain to run the dryer throughout the night. But if the fluffy stuff gets rained on, it turns into heavy stuff real fast and it never dries out. So we're gonna try and get rid of it, as much of it as we can right now. That will do, that's enough for now. He's gonna clean out the filter on the air system and fire up the dryer since we're done transferring now. I'll go dump this last load and then hopefully 
that rain holds off long enough to go get some corn out of the field. We are gonna head out to the field. And it kind of looks like we might. Oh. It looks like the rain is kind of dwindling down like we might miss it. So we're gonna head out to the field and get four, five, six truckloads out and just try to get enough to keep ourselves full for now so that we can make sure the dryer does run all night. And I think it would be a good time to teach Mrs. Millennial Farmer a few more grain cart lessons. I wiped the dirt off the seat oh, for you. It's not a Starbucks, so oh you can't my. make fun of me. What a millennial. No, you go in the driver's seat. Also, your your cup, you don't have a lid on your cup? It's almost there. Do dial up, Becky, we gotta catch him. How, how high do you want to do dial? However high you're comfortable. Get you dumping here? Yeah, you can, otherwise if you go just uh, north here and take those rows, and then I suppose you'd end up in the wrong side of the field, be further around to get the long rows. We'll try and catch you here, but I got Becky at the wheel, so be patient. Two, three, four, five. Yep, five rows. I just run over the fifth row with this one. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, you are. A little icy in that spot. So 3.6 on the dew dial speed, and then full throttle, and all the way in F1. He's still dumping when you get to the end, as soon as he takes... Stop when you get to the end? Not yet, not yet. No, help me, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I got it, don't do anything, don't do anything. So as soon as he takes his last bit of corn, so neutral. Step in, yeah, yeah. Either step in the clutch or shift into neutral and roll to the stop. Shift thing. Okay. So he's empty now. He will make it all the way to the other end of this field because these are shorter rows. So swing up here, and what we'll do is we'll go, go like all the way down. All the way to the end. Yep, and then, and then we'll see which way he's gonna turn, but stick fairly close you to him. If he's gonna go to. This if he's yeah, exactly. Also, there are some drain tiles in this area you gotta watch out for. And then when he comes, as soon as he hits the back of the grain cart, throw that forward. And then... How do you see? I mean, you would just, because I can't see the back of the grain cart. No, but you'll see him because he's over there. Plus, you got, you got a mirror right there, too. Oh, yeah. And a convenient backup mirror. Backup it's brighter camera. than daylight with these lights on. Honestly, those lights are brighter than anything that we've demoed or driven. But I a long ways, I think. Yeah, they're pretty awesome. With those, those LED lights? Yep. Yeah. All right, now go. Now? Yep. And just remember to keep straight. Because if you get off track, right. the cart and that header will collide. And that, that's a bad thing. Yeah, told me right away that they were moving the deck plate so they could pick you up on the other side. Are there two tiles? So now you go around, Beck. You can speed up and go around. The hardest part is going, lining up the... The row? Yeah, like my eyes play tricks on me. There is an update right now for that program too, uh, another one. So I figured I'd update that and see if it works or not. It's been about one one a week this year. None of them have worked yet, so I'm not too confident. So somebody's got a tile in front of us here, I believe. Should I slow down? No, or? no, no, no. Unless you see the tile, okay, so you got to go around it. it. Yeah, don't slow down because he could be unloading and that'll mess with him. But I don't think it is. Yeah, you don't see it. So as long as you're looking hard and don't see it, you're probably fine. I think it's just a bad termination spot. Oh, he doesn't even know where his tile risers are. I'm trying to stay on the fifth row. With the rows? Yeah, like I think now maybe I'm watching, instead of watching the track, if I watch the front corner of the hood. And if you're on the fourth one, it's not that big a deal. Just you get out second and third, you're going to damage some stuff. So. Oh, because you'll be that close to yeah. you, obviously. Yeah, I don't want to be close to you. Okay, what am I going to do at the end? I'm going to put it in neutral and Eesh. let him go. But he'll shut off. Like, he's unloading now, so obviously. Yep. Most of the time, if you're doing it right, he should be shut off at the end. And since it's this close, if I were you, you stop and let him do his thing because he has right away. But I'm going to put it in neutral or tell me when, what? Okay, I'm off. There you go. Okay. So if I were you, I'd stop. Let him get out of the way first. Why is your auger up when you're in the field? Oh, I, 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 I might be scared and I'm not sure I understand the rationale, but... You start folding 
unfolding and unfolding that big ass auger when you're going over bumps and you'll see what I mean. You think it's harder on the equipment to be going over the bumps while it's halfway folded in compared to just leaving Way it hard. out all the time? It's way harder. It's rigid right now. It's locked into place. It's not going anywhere. So you'll want to swing real wide over here by the dip and then come back to the trucks obviously. So you see this? You got 50,000 pounds in there? Yeah. 50 to 54 is the truck. Try to get as straight with the truck as you can. How close? You're too close right now. But that's okay because the cart's going to take some time to line up with you. Talk to me. You're pretty good. Just get straight with the trailer. You're pretty close. Turn a little left, a hair. Okay. Not that far. There you go. Stop. Yes. Okay. Okay, throttle back. Back. Now push this down and forward. And this is my gate. That is your PTO. Oh, that's my PTO. Yeah. Down and forward. Yep. Okay, okay now. now hold on. Oh, now. Otherwise you plug it. So rev this up to 1400. Where are you reading 1400? RPM right there. Okay. Now. Is 1360 close enough? Yep. Now your gate. This one. Yep. Forward. Yep. And then watch that yellow needle. Okay. Now stop there. That'll be plenty fast enough for you. Okay, now. So I'm gonna back up a bit. Okay, now put your foot on that brake. Brake. Right. Yep. And now when you release the brake, the tractor will crawl. Will crawl. You don't. Yep. But you want to wait until it's full there. Right. Okay, no. Yep. Yep. You're good. You're getting so big. <laughs> Yep, throttle back and then. This yellow one? Yep, pull it back. There. Now we're good. Now you gotta go 100 miles an hour to go catch it. Okay. Like what's too fast? It's gotta be a number. F1, you can only go to 12 and a half. Oh, okay. Shoot the gap, Mrs. M. Effer. Look at that. Look at that. She did it. You should have been an IndyCar racer. Doggone, you're not even that far behind him for your first time. So you talked about your neck being sore yeah. to look at the auger? Yeah. Every other manufacturer makes the auger come straight out. This one actually has an eight foot forward extended reach. Thanks to J&M and their engineering and technology. All right, get behind them. I know what you mean, it's all right. There we go, now dial it way back until it says 3.6. There you go. I did it. You did it. And so, when the auger gets to the back, that's what I'm gonna go. Yep. But I still, that's hard, hard for me to know when the auger's gonna hit the back. Well, roughly. I mean, like, when the header gets to the tracks then. So, like, now. I'd start creeping. Oh, wait, hold on. Why? Oh, there he goes. Because he stopped. There you go. Yes. Nailed it. Try to pull Yep. Too close. All right, you got this handled. I'm gonna sit on Instagram for a while. So now we shut her. Yeah. So I'd wait for him. Good work. Closer? No, you're okay. You good? Yep. About 1400. 1450. Push that forward to open the gate. Push the brake, yep. So the I farm is telling us you got 600 pounds of corn left. So, so full the. Shut my gate. Yep, shut the gate back. Three point six, and then watch your row. I can't believe Jim left this thing with dirty windows. We got about 29,000, so that's more than enough to fill that other truck. And since we got to drive past that anyway, we'll go throw that in the truck and get it full. Because the rule is. There's never any sense in driving across the field with more weight than you have to. Then, then PTO. PTO. Then throttle up. Should my spout be a little closer to us? I feel like it's going further over than it was before. Probably. Pull it back some. Sometimes it's hard to get your spout exactly where you want it, you know? Hold it back. All the way back? All the way back, yep. Because that end of that truck's going to fill real fast. Do you think it's nicer out here when the ground's not frozen? Yeah. <laughs> Quite a difference. Are you going to get back to tillage? Uh, we 
hope so. Maybe tomorrow in this field. So when he gets here, he's just going to turn right around. So as soon as he goes by, you can cut in towards the other rows and then line up and slow down and wait for him. Okay, start creeping. Now. Right when you can see the auger. Both trucks are full and the cart's full, so just follow your trail up here and kind of park near the road ditch. All right, <coughs> to the truck. Or we're gonna go without a tarp because our grain cart guy got it way too full on one side. My goodness, somebody left the lights off. Let there be light. It's slow though, it's coming. So right away we got to dump that because we got a truckload in there. All right, go three six and line up. What do you think, Mrs. Millennial? You're doing it. I'm doing it. You're really doing it. Really doing it. We're really doing it, Harry. So as you come up on him, just be cautious about the augers. He's all the way out. It's the only thing we gotta. Yep, we're good. I'm definitely seeing raindrops on the windshield. There you go. Is it rain or snowflakes? I would just run up over by the trucks and park up there somewhere, and then once we stop, we'll tarp it. All right, your key's down there. You turned it too far. Back a click. There. Bye, Mrs. MF. Bye, thanks for the lesson. And I see the dryer has shut down for some unknown reason shows up and just leaves her garbage. Right column over temp. Run fans. That's a new one. Cool down process initiated. I ran the fans and it ran through its process of cooling down, but I'm struggling a little to tell if that's steam or smoke, so I'm gonna climb to the top door actually and see. I hope there, there could be a fire inside, that's how things go wrong so I got to make sure of that before I try and fire it back up because essentially what I could do is flame the fire sorry essentially what I could do is fan the fire and make it worse if there's something going on inside there I already changed my mind because if there is something going on inside there uh, it's too hot so I'm gonna start the fans push air through there and see what the plenum temp says and just try to get it cooled down. It's not gonna let me restart it. It also doesn't want to run the fans very long. We've never had this issue. I'm pretty concerned right now. So it will only stay running if I hold the button. We'll see what dad wants to do when he gets here, but I'm gonna try and cool this down. I wish it would give me an actual temp. But it doesn't. So go in there on the top, there's an override button to run the fans. Okay. Hold that down for a few seconds and I wanna smell if it's steam or smoke. Sure smells more like steam than fire, so that's a good thing. Our plan is to override it for a minute. It doesn't give us a temp, but if we can override it enough to where we know it's cool enough, we can get up and climb in and open that back hatch. It's been over a minute. Usually that steam goes away a little faster, but maybe I'm just paranoid right now. Do we let the fans run for a few minutes? I probably would. Well, if we, yeah, it really cooled them down, didn't it? Yeah. At that cold, I probably wouldn't worry about it. It could cool fast. But yeah, should we try it? I would, yeah. With, did you shut the conveyor or leg or anything off? I turned the conveyor off because I wanted to be able to hear okay. it. Okay. Everything is reset and it's up and running. So right now, we're unloading it. We're going to walk down the flashlights and look inside the column to see if maybe there's a column that's plugged up and not moving. If you look through the little perforated holes, you'll see the corn shift once in a while. It's not easy to see, but you can see it slowly sliding down the wall. Everything is moving on that side of the machine. It certainly appears as though this side is not moving. 
So if you look at the bottom, you can see it moving down here. So there is, there is some corn being fed through the bottom. But for some reason up here, everything is sitting still. It would have to be plugged on the outside up here, but the stuff would still be moving past. I remember an old trick now that we're gonna try. It's moving pretty good. It's moving. They all seem to be moving. Now, now it's starting to rain, so we're gonna tarp these trucks. Well, an hour later, and that dryer is running just fine, no issues. And the rain slowed down. We never really got a lot. And Didge is cold, she wants to go back to the garage where it's warm. We'll go lay down for the night. I'm hungry anyway. <laughs> Well, thanks for watching, everybody. That was actually my voice. Cats can't talk.